let's take a look at this book. It's called Worked Examples in Electrical Engineering. It is the third edition and it is revised. It was written by W.T. Pratt, BSc Engineering London. There's a bunch of letters there. Vice Principal and formerly Head of the Electrical Engineering Department at the Enfield College of Technology. Third edition revised, Hutchinson Technical Education. This is old. Uh, there's other worked examples. They have one for mathematics, ooh. Physics, chemistry, electrotechnology, engineering science, and engineering drawing. It's got a dust jacket. That's what this is here. Here's the book without the dust jacket. And let's see the copyright on this one. Looks like the first time it was published was in 1949. This one is from 1963. It's been reprinted several times. So this has survived the test of time. Uh, that means it's been utilized quite a bit. I'm sorry, I just gotta smell it. Not much of a scent, believe it or not. It's odorless almost. Theory, performance, and design of electrical machinery. Okay, ooh, the operator J. You can see some of the topics here that are covered in this book. And then we have some more here. Synchronous converters, mercury arc rectifiers. And then we have some more over here. And let's just take a look, let's go further. Definitions of terms, okay, so we have some definitions. Admittance. So this is fun. So chapter one says the following is an explanation of the more important terms used given under the chapter headings in which they first occur. The definitions are in general conformity with those recommended by the British Standards Institution where such definitions exist. So chapter one, admittance, the reciprocal of impedance, the ratio of the RMS current to the RMS electromotive force which produces it. The unit in which it is measured is the MHO, which is the admittance of a circuit whose impedance is one ohm. Conductance, it just goes through and just, uh, just defines things. Okay, definition of terms. And then here's chapter, here's chapter three, because this was chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So it just defines all the terms for the different chapters. All right, so it's like an overview of uh, definitions, which is really cool, right? Very, very interesting. And here are some symbols. Now, I don't know if this book is available, by the way. I, I, I don't know if it's free or if you have to buy it. Like sometimes these books are old and they're, they're around, but uh, first published in India, wow by India House, Bombay. Wow, wow, this book is a little old. The Theory, Performance, and Design of Electrical Machinery. But I, but I will look, and if I can find a link, I'll leave it in the description. Symbolic notation and its application to complex circuits. Here's the operator J. Explain the symbolic method of vector representation and express the vector four plus J five in its various forms. Yeah, so instead of I, they use J. Engineers, they use J. This is really cool. Complex circuits. I can smell it. I just got to give it away here. So you have tons of knowledge in a book like this. I mean, just so many examples, right? Just tons. So I guess this would be very good for someone who um, wanted to know electrical engineering, right? Um, so if you're watching this video and you happen to be studying electrical engineering, um, is this the kind of stuff you do? Like, does this seem in line with more modern electrical engineering books? Um, it's certainly an older book, and I know math books, when they're older, they're very, very different. Yeah. What's this? Alternators. I mean, it's just tons of math and engineering. Tons. Transformers, equivalent circuits, voltage regulation, etc. 
When one winding of a transformer in short circulated, there is no flux in the core and no induced EMF in the windings. To circulate a given current in the windings that needs to be applied PD sufficient only to overcome the winding resistances and leakage reactances. Hmm. More on transformers, induction motors, copper loss. Some formulas. What's over here? Let's see. Transmission lines, general, direct current machines. You wonder, you know, how many people use this book and, and the fact that this book was in print for, for so long means that tons of people must have been using this book and using this to study and learning from this book. So this was, you know, this, this gave a lot of people in the world knowledge uh, back in the day. It's kind of nice. Induction motors. Final steady temperature rise on full load. Hmm. And here it talks a little bit about it. Let's see what it says here. It was realized at the time worked examples in electrotechnology was published that the necessity for keeping the price within reasonable limits would restrict its contents and would involve the omission of problems beyond the level of the ordinary national certificate and examinations of a similar standard. It is intended that worked examples in electrical engineering shall serve as a sequel to the other book. I see. With the scope of the problems chosen to help students preparing for the higher national certificate, city and guilds final certificate, and an engineering degree. The book is divided into two sections. Section one is mainly concerned with the principles and design of AC machinery and concludes with a chapter on DC machines. Section two deals with the generation and transmission of electrical energy. The emphasis is therefore placed on the heavy current side of electrical engineering and the problems have been selected from examination papers in this branch of the subject. And then it goes on uh, here and talks about it some more. Um, printed in Great Britain. Cool. This, I think this is the price, maybe? I don't know, maybe that's how they mark the price. I don't remember what I paid for this or where I got it. Um, I don't know where I got this. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I might have got this at a bookstore, but I don't recall. But I don't recall. Anyways, if I can find this strange book uh, on engineering from England, I will uh, leave a link in the description and subscribe if you want to. And I have courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.